Hi and welcome. Today we're going to be planting kale and pansies in a container. They are cool weather flowers so they will be able to go through the fall, the winter and they'll still be here for you in the spring so that's definitely a bang for your buck. And I'm going to be going through step by step to show you exactly how it's done. And remember to like, share and subscribe and hit the notification bell for future garden topics and tips. So you're going to need a watering can, you need your kale, your pansies, and all of these things, you can actually get them at your local supply center. You also need to have a sturdy trowel, a container with holes in the bottom, of course. You need to have your garden soil and your mulch. Now we're going to go through the steps of getting it done. So we're going to take out the larger one first. And that would be the kale. You kind of have to free it out from the container. And then you have to just go in and dig and place it in. And go as deep in as you need to because it has to level off with the soil at the top. So I think that has gone in enough. So we're going to take the soil and cover here. And this needs to be at the center at the back. And next we're going to get these out. I don't need to take all of this soil out because they're not as huge. And we're going to put these in the front right here. bring the soil make sure that it covers on it then you press it down and then we have the next set the yellow ones and there are different colors available you can choose the one that you like so we have some roots at the bottom there hanging out that's okay because they're gonna spread out and then you go and you dig in make sure that you're covering it around with the soil and you press down again and we have one more left to go. I'm not going to keep all of that. Well, let's see. We take a little bit off. And then we come around here. Just take the tag out. And the soil has to cover over it. So if you need extra soil, you can get something and just pour it in on there to make sure that it covers it. And you want to press all the way in. You can clean up the edges. And then next we're going to go ahead and water them and make sure that the water goes all the way down and runs out at the bottom. That way you know they have a really good soak. If you miss any spots, you definitely want to go back and add some more soil. It's not a perfect sign, so you just you know, you take a look and see if you need to put any anywhere. I think I'll add a little bit more in here. And they're not going to look their best when you're just finished, but give it a couple of days. You water it every day for at least a week. And then once you've done that, then you'll see that they will reward you. And then the next one will be to add the mulch. So you're going to just go in and add them on top. And there are different types of mulch. You, I like pine bark, but there are different kinds that you can use. You just go in and fill them in in the spaces. And this helps to protect them over the winter. So they don't dry out, you know, when it gets really cold. Now 
Once you have spread all of your mulch, you're going to go ahead and give it a thorough soak all the way through. Thank you so much for watching. Good luck with your kale and candies.